And here we are this Tuesday afternoon. Now, the singer Brian Flanagan, uh, known by his stage name Oman, which stands for You Must Act Now, has not only got a new song out, but uh, a new and big show coming up in the Castle Bar in the TF Royal. Um, uh, Brian I grew up in Ballyhonis and as far as I know, based in Dublin these days. But listen, I'm going to find out now because he joins me on the line. Brian, good afternoon. John, good to talk to you. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, no, no problem. Good uh, good to connect because uh, I've been playing your music for the longest time. And uh, so it's, it's good to have a wee chat just to, you know, sort of catch Thank up. Thank you for playing. Yeah, and by the way, I, I'm back. I'm in Ballyhonis. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm, yeah, back in the home, home oh, turf. Oh, based in Ballyhonis. Uh, Based in Valley Hollis, yeah. Right. Valley Happiness, we call it, John. Ah, you know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you male folk, he's there's clannish. Now, um, you have had a number of different jobs down through the years, working in furniture shops, even one shop that, that sold baths. And um, uh, even now, am I right in saying that when you're not making music, you're a financial planner? Correct. I have a small financial planning business, and it's funny, the... The business and the music, they're kind of aligned in that a lot of the songs that I write, similar to High, would be designed to inspire and empower people uh, to try and uh, live better lives. Same with financial planning. We have to help people to create the lives they want through advising them on how to create a life plan and financial plan. So the the purpose is almost aligned. Um, so I get to switch off the left hand of the brain and then turn on the right hand and vice versa. So I'm never idle. All right, okay. I, because, you know, on the surface, it seems like, a, 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 you know, they're poles apart, but the way you put it. Yeah, well, if you can, uh, if if you if your mission is to make people's lives better yeah. uh, through your business, and if your songs are designed to try and, well, actually, the songs that I write, I, I, I try to help my, my own life. Um, I, one of the songs I'd be most known for would be a song called Flame and Day, which mm. I use to, to try and, change my state in the morning high was a song just written to i was living in cork at the time and i wanted to um it's just more how do you live how do you design your life and achieve your potential if you're looking down or looking at a phone all the time or looking at a screen you need to be present you need to be out and about looking and appreciating what's out out in front of you um so that's where high came out of um and yeah i'm just it's it's an upbeat up tempo and it's designed to try and Get people in the right frame of mind. Yeah, uh, you mentioned there the flame and day. It was a it was a big big breakthrough for you, a big hit in twenty seventeen. It was, yeah. I, I had great luck with that, and um, it was played off the radio um, yeah. air, and um, got great. Uh, a lot of people who were into that positive psychology piece in particular, and who wanted a, a a song for the morning. It was a lot of people come back to me even still and said, "This is my alarm clock in the morning because it gets me." in the right frame of mind if I get out in a negative mood. So uh, so that that really opened the door. And that's really why I changed my, my name. I was asked by management because of the genre of the music, Flame and Day is in, which is kind of pop, soul, gospel, that Brian Fanningham just didn't suit the genre. So they said, can you come up with a name that'll suit this? And you, man, was where... It, so it's, it's an abbreviation for, as you said, mm. you must act now, which is a kind of an empowering call to action, which a lot of the music is. And that's not to say that... I just write that type of music. I have love songs, I have political songs, I have lots of different um, topics, but that's kind of, that was at the start where where it was leading. You you sometimes write biographical songs about people that you admire. You've written songs about Chuck Feeney. Well, you know, again, uh, pulls apart Chuck Feeney and Adele. Yeah, um, a huge fan of Chuck Feeney. I, I think he's, if someone said, who is the greatest human of all time, I'd put him up there because having given eight billion of his fortune away with looking for zero recognition, I thought that was just powerful. And my, my two sisters went to UL and they didn't even know that he funded UL. And I just thought, well, what can you give someone who's who doesn't want anything, who's given everything away? So I wrote a song for him and uh, I sent it to him and his family and he wrote back to to acknowledge and thank me for it. It was lovely uh, because I'd be a huge admirer. And Adele, I, I loved her song. We sent it to her. Uh, her, middle, her middle name is Laurie Blue, so it was initially called Laurie Blue and it was a subtle biographical song about her life. Yeah. And um, funny enough, her solicitor came back because my manager at the time, he was managing Gavin James as well and they shared the same solicitor, solicitor as Adele. And um, the solicitor came back and said uh, with an email saying, I think she wants to sue. So I got a bit of a fright. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never materialised. 
No, no, I thought she was going to, no, thankfully. I thought she was going to tweet it or say, oh, thanks very much at the very least. But no, nothing, nothing came of it. But uh, right. yeah, I do. I, I admire her and I admire Chuck. And I've written songs for Wim Hof more recently in the Pendulum Summit. I introduced him on stage. Um, and who else? Uh, Michael Flatley. Uh, so yeah, I've, uh, and I write for all my friends and family for different occasions. I just love that. I think it's a, it's a great piece to have for, for somebody. It's a great gift. Yeah, but you've also had your songs recorded by the likes of Nadine Coyle and Nathan Carter. Yeah, um, I wrote with Nathan um, in Sligo uh, one sunny afternoon. We had a great house session. Um, Nadine, I went over to London. Uh, I was introduced to Nadine by Michael Flatley, actually, and spent a weekend um, writing with her, and that was great fun. Um, but I have to say, there's nothing like writing and recording and hearing your own song sung by yourself. Like that's that, that's really what floats my boat. Yeah, 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 I can understand. You, um, for, for an Irish, uh, for an Irish singer songwriter, uh, your your influences seem to be a lot of uh, soul and gospel. Um, in many ways, uh, unlikely influences, but uh, they come out uh, loud and clear in your songs. They do, they do. Um, I, I'm a big fan of that genre. I suppose I started off with traditional um, Irish and went on to various different genres until I started writing and I just I would have been a big fan of, of the soul. Uh, love gospel choirs and actually the tour that I'm um, putting together at the moment so we're, uh, is has a gospel choir in each um, place so hopefully we'll be up in your jurisdiction be great. Um, soon. As soon as we have a, have a date I'll let you know John. Um, we're in launching the album in the Dublin in Grand, the Grand Social in Dublin with the Dublin Gospel Choir we're in the TF with the Chapel Street Gospel Choir on the 10th of May, along with Monday and Donna Taggart is actually guesting as well. Uh, and the, the, on the, we're in Cork as well. That's a bit of a spin for you now. So it would be, yeah. Yeah. To that. Yeah, yeah. But again, with the Gospel Choir. So yeah, I do love the Gospel sound and the, the, the songs are, they lend itself to harmonies and, and, uh, but if you listen to, when the album comes out, you listen, there's, a, there's quite an eclectic group of songs there. Although they have a similar thread running through them, there's pop, there's folk, there's, gospel, there's the soul um, but hopefully there's something for everybody I envisage a night of you know, harmonious uplifting gospel tinge, soul tinge to music Yeah, with a, with a, with a, a kind of a roller coaster. so I generally start off the show with a bit of a bang and then there's just me and a guitar at some point and um, maybe an acoustic uh, ukulele um, then we kind of ramp it up again with the with the gospel choir and so it's kind of a there's louds and softs so it's dynamic um does it again you couldn't people might just get fed up of a full on gospel choir roaring at your head for an hour and a half mm-hmm. uh so it's it's the songs again there's some soft there's some slow there's some there's some fast and some and some loud so it's it again a dish for everything it makes good 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 okay well the 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 date in castle bar is uh, may the 10th and uh fingers crossed you'll be able to get uh, some dates over the course of the year maybe uh a little bit, uh, a little bit north as well as west, and the album. When's when's the album coming out? Seventh of June. Seventh. It's going to be called Crossroads, um, and yeah, it's out on the seventh of June on all platforms. And yeah, you can find me. It's very difficult actually to find me because when I, ch- when I created the name U Man, <laughs> I didn't realize that it's also a small little state in the Ukraine, and there's another <laughs> reggae artist in France oh. that goes by the same name. So. When you're trying to find me, I'm official U Man on Instagram, uh, U Man Music official on Facebook, but, or if you just check out Flame and Day or Hi, um, you'll find you'll find me. But I'm I'm not as easy as I'd like to find, and I can't change the name at this stage, no. so okay, I have to stick with it. So what about block capitals with uh, with with dots in between? That'll work too, will it? That'll work. Okay. That'll work. Okay. Most okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we look forward to the new album, and uh, Hi is uh, one of the songs that will be on it. Oh uh, man. Brian. I like, I like Brian too. Uh, listen, I like Brian too, yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks, Amani, for having a chat. Um, um, g- good luck with uh, the gig in the Castle Bar and maybe we'll see you up here um, as the year goes on. I hopefully will have a date in a couple of weeks and thanks for playing me, John. I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm.